Hey film fans, it's your boy John, aka Big Red. I'm back today with another video. Uh, before we get to the video talk, you guys go ahead and smash that like button uh, right now. Right now. So everybody that's watching my video, um, you like my content, smash that like button. It really does help out the channel. Um, it helps the channel grow. It gets my video out there for everybody to see. And uh, if you guys not subscribed to the channel, Go ahead and already subscribe. Like I said, if you like my content, subscribe to the channel and uh, hit that that uh, the like button. Now, today we got our ooh a B. We got all right. Here's going. All right. So there we got our you know five key things that Miami needs to do to get the dub, and we got our what week nine picks. So I'm gonna go ahead and run through the you know you know the other teams and the other games. I'm gonna give you my picks, um, some of the you know key little things on the teams and you know why I picked them and you know you know. But uh, we did have a game yesterday. Uh, Packers and the Niners ended up playing, and no lie, guys, I I was gonna pick the Niners. I mean not the Niners but the Packers to win. Um, and they ended up doing that. Aaron Rodgers pretty much. Regulated the Niners and they end up, uh, you know, taking the dub. Uh, next game, we got the uh, Broncos and the Falcons. This is a, a tough game for me, but I'm gonna go ahead and give it to the Broncos. I think the Broncos are playing a little, a little bit better than the Falcons. I want to say Falcons did get their uh, uh, second win last week, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and give it to the, uh, the Broncos. Now we got the Seattle Seahawks and the Buffalo Bills. I'm going with the Seattle Seahawks. You guys already know. Uh, anybody in our division, I, well, I'm not going to say that. But this is a, a tough uh, Seattle football team. And I do believe that they will beat the Buffalo Bills. Next game, we got the Bears and we got the Tennessee Titans. And like I said, I just got to ride with Tannehill. Um... Derrick Henry is Derrick Henry is uh my fantasy running back, and I hope he balls out. You know I need some points, so I'm gonna go with the Tennessee Titans. Uh, next game is gonna be a hard one. Uh, Ravens actually just came off a, a, a show, you know they played some good football. Um, Lamar did throw two interceptions, but it was a good game overall. They played a, a, a tough you know Steelers the uh football team. Um, they they got the coach this week. Coach is actually playing some good football as well. For, uh, Philip Rivers, you know, quarterback back there. But like I said, I got a little, you know I got a ride with Lamar um, uh, Lamar Jackson. He is also you know my fantasy quarterback, and you know he's from Florida, so I'm riding with Lamar Jackson. Uh, next game we got the Panthers and we got the Chiefs. Uh, I'm going with the Chiefs. I'm not gonna you know get too deep in that game. I'm going to Chiefs. Uh, we got the Lions and we got the the Vikings. Uh, Vikings shocked the world last week with that that win over the Packers. Um, this kind of an ee game for me as well. They both kind of suck. Um, I want to say Stafford is out for the season, so I'm gonna go ahead and go with the Vikings. I believe the Vikings end up uh, winning this game. Uh, Cook is a beast, pretty much. Can't be stopped. If he can continue that play, well, I, I'm pretty sure he's going to continue playing like that. Uh, the Lions are going to be able to stop him. Our next game is kind of trash as well. We got the Giants and we got the Washington football team. Um, but I do believe the Washington football team is a little better than the Giants. So I'm going to go ahead and give them that. Uh, next game is another dumpster fire. Uh, we got Houston Texans against the Jaguars, and I want to say, ja yeah, Houston, they ended up getting their first win against the Jaguars. So, I'm going with the Jags, and you guys already know why. We got that first round pick, and um, Houston is just not playing some, you know, good football right now. And like I said, we got that first round pick, and that is 
mainly one of the reasons why Tula right now is starting for us because we need to see what he has. Uh, we need to see is you know he's going to be our future quarterback. And if not, you know Houston probably at the end of the season they we're probably going to be in the top five um, pick with you know Houston you know right with that pick from Houston. But like I said, I'm going to Jags to win that game. Uh, next game we got the Raiders and the Chargers. I'm looking that game probably is gonna be a good game. Chargers always and they you know they always fight uh, play well. Um Herbert always put his team in, you know, a, a, a good chance to win every Sunday, bro. Every Sunday. But I, I do believe that the Raiders will pull uh put uh pull this take get the victory and pull out with this one. Then next game we got the Steelers uh versus a, a bad beat up Garbage Cowboys team. Um, I don't even have to even go into that. Steelers going to win. Everybody knows Steelers going to win. Next game is a, probably going to be a good one as well. We got the Saints versus the Buccaneers. I'm not going to lie. The Buccaneers are playing like kind of shaky, but they're putting out, you know, they're, they're, they're playing enough to get the win. Um, I'm going to go with the Saints. I think the Saints will end up, you know, taking the dub. Uh, next game, um, going for an upset. We got the Patriots and we got the Jets. Now, I don't like any, either one of these teams. Um, but I do hope the Jets get the dub. I'm not going to lie. I do hope the Jets get the dub. I just like seeing New England struggle right now, bro. They're 2-5 they're right now. And they've been on top of the division for like, so many years, and it feels so good to see them struggle. So I really do hope the Jets get their first dub against uh, the Patriots. Now, we're going to get into the Miami Dolphins and the, uh, the uh, Arizona Cardinals. Now, we travel to Arizona. We play a good Arizona football team. Actually, they're coming off a bye, when, uh, which they just uh, what they won a overtime game against the Seattle Seahawks. Um, Russell, Wood, I mean not Russell Wilson, uh, but uh, Kyler Murray is an awesome player. Um, he can kill a team with his legs, and he can kill a team with his arm. Um, I'm gonna get into the five key things, like I said, that I think that we need to do to get this dub. Number one, we need to slow down, uh, contain Kyler Murray. If we can uh, keep him in the pocket, um, and contain him, and uh, also have him beat us with his arm, because um, I'm pretty confident in our, you know, our defense and um, our corners. Uh, I'm pretty confident in our safety, Arrow, Bob McCain, and uh, if we can contain him, also get pressure as well, uh, have him make mistakes, uh, throw uh, a couple of picks, and, uh, you know, the same thing is last week, uh, what we did to golf if we can do that to him slow him down keep him in the pocket and uh cause i'm pretty sure he's gonna he's gonna scramble he's gonna get his yards uh like i said he's an amazing quarterback super fast um he's real small so it's kind of hard to tackle him but like i said if we can, can contain him and you know keep him to a, a minimum i'm pretty sure that we can get this dub we got you know the the a young quarterback number one versus number one pretty much and um, they played each other in college, and uh, we're going to uh, see a, a lot more competition between these two guys uh, in the future. Now, my key two, we need to run the ball. Um, who, pretty sure it's going to be Howard. Um, we got what, Lair was limited. Uh, Gaskins probably going to be out for like maybe two, uh, uh, three, four weeks, who knows. Um, Breeder uh, did not practice, but he might be able to go. Uh, we're gonna see. Um, Washington, that we the guy that we picked up in the trade, I kind of I think he'll be able to help. No lie. Um, he had one of his best seasons as a rookie with the Raiders. Um, kind of believe that he, like I said, kind of believe he'll help. He didn't really get a chance in uh, with the Chiefs, with them getting the uh, Bell, and also the rookie is phenomenal. He's balling right now bro but um 
you know, I, I really believe that he, he will contribute whenever, you know, learn the playbook and he is actually on the field his number when his number is called. Uh, he's not going to play this week. He's only going to play uh, week now, week 10. So I'm kind of excited to see him actually play. But, um, yeah, Howard needs to come in this game, um, put his big boy pants on, and pretty much show everybody that he can ball and he can still play. Um, it's pretty much if he come out in this game and ball out, it's going to help his stock uh, for next year pretty much because I don't think he's going to be on the team. Uh, after next year, they might end up trading them, or who knows. But if he can come out and ball, bro, and pick up the the first downs, uh, pick up the the get the you know the yardage, and also uh, get the tough you know the first downs, and just keep this uh, keep the offense moving. Uh, we can go out with a win, bro. Like if he can get over a hundred yards on the day, that's a that's a win for me. Um, like I said, he just need to come out, ball, and show everybody that he can still play. Uh, the offensive line needs to to open up the holes for him, um, and he just needs to play, bro. Like I'm pretty sure, I'm I'm confident he can. I'm confident confident in him, and I know he can do it, bro. Cause you know he showed it. He just haven't had you know his his chance pretty much. Um, whenever they did put him in early in the season, he did struggle, but he struggled and they took him out. He really didn't have he really didn't have a chance to get in the groove. So if that's the one that we're going with, he needs to show everybody. Uh, key three: defense needs to repeat. Uh, they gotta stay hungry. They, they gotta continue to stay hungry. They gotta continue to have that chip on their shoulder. And uh, like Eric Rose said, you know, uh, last week at the end of the game, like everybody kept talking about the Rams defense. They need to talk about you know Miami Dolphins defense. And that's been like that for like years and years. So if these guys continue to play well, uh, get pressure, like I said on uh, Kyler Murray, shut down D Hops. Also. Slow down the run as well, man. It's gonna be it's gonna be a, a fun day Sunday, but like I said, it's gonna be a tough game. Uh, Kyler Murray is uh, a good quarterback and very hard to uh, slow down, very hard to stop. Uh, like I say, short, fast. He can kill people with his arm and his his legs as well as we know. He's actually leading right now in with well, his team in in well. He's second behind King, King and Drake, was actually hurt. But he's leading, you know, the lead right now in, you know, rushes, something like that. But the defense, I'm 100% confident the defense will come out and play um, a good game and give us a, a chance to win the game. So they just need to to repeat that level and plan, you know, all through the all through the season. Uh, my next uh, my next thing key four is slow down uh, uh, Hawkins. Now they got Hawkins and they have Larry Fitzgerald and a couple more players. Um, I'm pretty sure whoever's sticking um, Larry Fitzgerald they can they can probably have him probably shut him down. Now I'm probably just going off the you know. No, I'm not. I'm pretty sure we can uh, uh, stop a a Larry Fitzgerald. Um, now Hawkins, he's gonna get his his yards. He's gonna he's gonna make plays because uh, this is one of the top receivers in the league right now. But like, if we can slow him down as well, keep him to a minimal, just like uh, Kyler Murray, I feel like we can come out with this dub. Um, like I said, he's one of the the best receivers and. As you go back, as we uh, you go back and look at film of the Arizona Cardinals, whenever Kyler Murray is in a jam, he's pretty much throwing to uh, Hawkins, and that's what we're gonna see this Sunday. It's gonna be him to Hawkins, you know, more than once. So if we can can uh, get in Hawkins' head and slow him down and get him frustrated, I'm pretty sure we can come out with this dub. Uh, my last key thing is the offense needs to 
to move the ball. Um, I know last week we played a good uh, defense in the Rams, and they really had came in with a, a game plan into getting the ball out of Tula's hand, um, you know, dump, uh, dump off uh, quick slants, you know, pretty much uh, trying to uh, keep him protected and safe um, throughout the game. Um, you know, I'm pretty sure this week is going to be different. Uh, that was his first NFL, uh, first NFL game, his first NFL start, um, full 60 minutes football. Um, the NFL, the NFL, uh, the, the league, the, the league is pretty much different in, you know, uh, the whole college. Uh, the game is pretty much faster. Um, you know, people, you know, the scheme is different. You got to read a lot of defense. So, in his first, his first NFL uh, start, his first NFL game, I'm, um, I'm not, you know, but you know, for all the, you know, lack of production, the, the miss and the, the accuracy, because I'm, I have full confidence in Tula that he will bounce back. Like I said, it's his first, uh, his first action since college, since the injury. So I do have 100%. Uh, you know, I believe in Tula. Um, but to say again, if it doesn't work and we continue to see that level of struggle and like I said, we got that, we got that pick from the Houston Texans and I, I said in the past, I do like, uh, Trevor Lawrence over Tula. Um, I actually did want them to get Trevor Lawrence. So, but like I said, I do have 100% confidence that he will bounce back this week. Um, he will actually, they will actually move the ball on third down. Um, the running game will be better. The accuracy, the timing will be better. Uh, we need everybody to, to help out Tula the, um, from the receivers, offensive line, and the running back. The coaches as well. Um, receivers need to catch the ball whenever the number is called. Offensive line need to continue to block how they're doing. Uh, open up the the running lane. The running back needs to be able to hit the hole, pick up yards, and keep trucking, keep moving. If we can do that, if we can play on the same level as our defense right now, and we can be a scary football team because uh, our defense are playing, you know, pretty much playoff football right now. And if we can get that offense rolling, and if Tula can uh, connect, and if they can, you know, get that rhythm, that rhythm going, bro, it's a scary team to beat. So, like I said, my key five: the offense needs to move the ball. We need to uh, stay balanced to to win this game. You know, we can't just have our defense, uh, you know, carrying us and our defense. You know, going taking all those snaps, that's not going to work. Um, even, you know, even with the defense we got, you know, they're constantly playing. They're getting tired. It's not going to work in the NFL. So our offense needs to pick up their, their slack. And I do believe this week will be different. And we will see uh, a good football game. Um, my prediction, uh, Miami will get the win. Uh, I'll say 23 to 17. Um, Miami takes the win. It's not gonna be. It's not gonna be easy. But like I said, if we can get this dub. This dub, we can go on a run, like a what, a five-game winning streak. No lie, because we got. I want to say we got what Chargers next. We got Chargers next, and like I said, we can beat that. We got. The Broncos, we can beat that. We got the Jets, we're definitely going to beat that. Then we got the Bengals. Um, we can beat that. So if we can get past this game here, we got to we gotta run, you know, a, a five-game run. So that's going to be it for the video. Um, like I said, you got, if you guys like my content, my, my content, uh, go ahead and smash that like button. Like I said, it really does help when you guys, you know, hit that like button. Um, for all my guys that subscribe to the channel and uh, also being with me from day one, don't be afraid to hit the like button. 
also you guys comment as well uh, give me your thoughts on what we need to do to win uh, what you guys thought about you know my five key things uh, the offense defense you know the whole thing so like I said you know like comment subscribe share you know get my video out there and um, let's run this channel up and it's your boy John aka Big Red I'm out